This is um, an example of a um, structural servo with the um, Trimble TX5 3D scanner. Um, this is of a the um, front view um, of a church in Maitland Park, but this same principle could be applied to an industrial building, um, a structure like a bridge, or um, any um, building or um, object that. Uh, someone could be building. Um, this is again on the um, 3D view of what the um, scanner has picked up and coloured. Now we can see in here this object here is the um, scanner at a different one of the other locations where it was scanned and again here and these green things here are the spheres or targets and there we can see a um, target which can be used or fitted permanently on site and a AHG, MGA, RISG value is attributed to it and the scan can be set within the real world. Um, you need so many of these targets to be placed around the system and here we can see some more scans that the uh, machine has taken um, and that's the basis of one of the scans. Now we move on to joining the, th the uh, six different scans that were taken together and here they are all together. You can see as before they're all different coloured um, for each scan that's done. Now obviously we only worked on the front of the building but if you walked worked your way all around uh, might take a few hours more. The more detail becomes available and the clear you know the clearer the picture obviously you can see in here where I'm moving the mouse around there is shadow that the uh, scan never reached you that the, the uh, view could not be seen from there now I'll just drop a um, pinpoint on here and we can rotate the data around and there we see the data all joined together. You can see the uh, the front of the church, and we'll zoom in, and you can actually see inside the front portico where we've shot inside the uh, the portico at one time, and you can see the the church. Now we then have applied the um, the colour to the. Um, the photographs to the scans when we can see that they're all joined up properly and this is the uh, the data colorized um, I'll then again drop the rotation point in and we can rotate around and zoom in just let it refresh Keep zooming in. If you look on the um, church here, the detail is that good that you can see the different mortar that was used in repairing the uh, the wall of the church. So the detail that becomes available with these scans becomes incredible. The uh, you can see if on a track machine. Um, whether it had been repainted or you know any anything about the quality of the machine or in a building whether the uh, paint was slightly different or um, the, uh, the the quality of what is can be achieved is just so much more than the uh, the normal surveyor would be able to achieve with ch shooting a point here and a point there and so many points around the building the, the data is just so much, so much more and so more usable. Um, anyway, that's the uh, typical example of that. Obviously, this was taken with six stations in about an hour um, and the longer you spent would spend on the job, the less shadows that you would achieve. Just, these are the shadows like this area here where the um, data could the scanners haven't reached but if you were moving the scanner around and around and taking more and more scans as the scans were joined up 
all those little shadow areas would be would disappear um, and that's a typical example of a uh, structural survey that can be done with the uh, scanner. Thank you.